profit maximization in perfect competition in one of my previous videos we have already discussed the concept of perfect competition market as well as its features and we have also discussed that why the price in this type of market is decided at the equilibrium point right so if you are new to my channel and if you have not watched those videos yet i will provide you the link in the description box below so i would recommend that before coming to this video you should check it out first later you can come on to this so now let's just quickly revise it so we know that perfect competition market is also known as pure competition market right in this type of market there will be many sellers and many buyers and the products sold here are of homogeneous nature right and here the firms in the perfect competition market are price takers they are not the price makers okay so the price which is decided by the industry will be prevailed in the market all firms in the organization has to charge the same price now we also know that the price in this type of market is decided at the equilibrium point so the point where demand and supply meets right so that we can call it as equilibrium point so at that point the price will be decided and each and every firm in the perfect competition market has to charge the same price no matter of what quantity they sell either they sell one or two products or they sell 100 or many products right so now let's discuss what if a firm wants to increase the profits in this type of market organization okay so first of all let's have a look at this diagram 2 all right so here on o x axis we have quantity and o y axis we have price so we know that the price here is a horizontal straight line because it will not change the same price will be prevailing right so here we also need to remember that in this type of market situation price is also known as marginal revenue or it is also known as average revenue or demand curve here it is all same that will be a single horizontal line okay so here this is our average total cost curve right and this is average variable cost curve this is an mc curve initially it reduces but later on it will go on increasing right so now we know that condition for profit maximization right so that is mr must be equal to mc so this is an mc curve and this is an mr line right so as i told earlier price mr ar and demand curve are all same in this type of market situation so this is a very important point that you remember okay so the point where mr will be equal to mc so that is here right here mc and mr are intersecting each other so this we can call it as equilibrium point or also break even point right so then our average total cost is also intersecting these both or it is also intersecting the price end so this is the point where the firm earns the normal profit see here because our average total cost is equal to price line we are earning normal profits in this situation okay now what if new firms enter into this type of market see we know that there are no restrictions in this type of market right in perfect competitions there are no restrictions on entry or exit if any new firm wants to enter they can easily enter so what if new firms enter so when they enter the supply of stock will increase in the market right will increase in the industry then we will get a new supply curve our supply curve will shift to right so this is our new supply curve that is s2 and we will also get a new equilibrium point that is e2 the point where demand and supply are intersecting each other that is new equilibrium point so now our price will be decided at this point so whenever supply increases our total cost will reduce right so now look at this diagram so the when our average total cost is less than the price line so that area we can call it a super normal profit area here in this region we can earn super normal profits because our average total cost is less than our prices okay so in this situation the firm earns super normal profits okay now assume that certain firms exit from this type of market then what will happen 
our supply curve will shift to left our the supply will reduce in the industry then again we have new equilibrium point our prices will increase so when our supply increase uh, reduces our average total cost will increase okay so now whenever average total cost is more than our price so this area we can call it as loss or shutdown area right so when any firms in this type of market are earning losses will they want to continue in this type of market no right so they will exit from the market so that is the reason why this is also called as shutdown area or shutdown point all right so are you clear in short run the per perfect competition market may earn super normal profits normal profits or losses but in long run mostly this type of market situation earns normal profits where the average total cost will be equal to price line okay so this was all about profit maximization in perfect competition market okay guys so this was all about today if you found this helpful please hit the like button i will see you in my next videos till that happy learning